Greetings and thank you once again for this opportunity to come to you today and spend these few moments in the Word of God. Let me trust that as we are outlining Jesus' teaching on faith, uh, it's become clear to you what it means to have faith in God. You know, sometimes, uh, maybe because we haven't been taught correctly, uh, maybe because we haven't seen things correctly from the Bible, uh, we misunderstand what it means to have faith in God. The sad part is, many times we think we're having faith in God when really we are not, because we're not doing it the way the scriptures teach us, or God has put us, put in the scriptures for us. So it's very important for us to be very clear about what it is to have faith in God and then practice that correctly. You know, God is not responsible for our malpractices or our misapplication of the word, you know, because it's, it's our responsibility to study it, study the scriptures, understand correctly, and then practice correctly. And so it's very important for us as we outline Jesus' teaching on faith, we understand each of these elements or aspects correctly and begin to apply it in our lives. One of the things I want to highlight here today on Jesus' teaching on faith is that he made it very clear that worry, fear, and doubt negate faith. And you find this, I find Jesus making these statements in different places in, uh, in uh, Matthew chapter 6, he said, uh, Matthew 6 verse 30, he said, Oh, you of little faith, do not worry. Verse 31, do not worry. Little faith, do not worry. Matthew 8, 26, he said, Why are you fearful, O oh, you of little faith? Matthew 14, uh, verse 31, he said, Oh, you of little faith, why did you doubt? So you see worry, you see fear, you see doubt. All opposing faith and causing the people in these three situations being people of little faith. That means to some extent, worry, fear, and doubt had neutralized or compromised their faith. So they their level of faith dropped from perhaps being full of faith to little faith. What caused it? In one case, worry, fear, doubt. So these are three big, if you will, enemies of faith. Worry, being anxious, fear. Fear is misplaced faith, believing in something that's, that's wrong, that's not really true. And doubt is being is questioning or wondering. God really said, or will God really come through on his promise? Worry is being preoccupied with the negative in our minds instead of being occupied with the word of God. So the antidote to worry is replace, get your thoughts on the word instead of on the negative things that it's cycling over, looping over. The antidote of fear, of course, is to reinforce faith in your heart by His Word. The antidote of doubt is, again, the same thing. Reinforce faith by the Word of God. So, lock worry, fear, and doubt out of your life. Refuse to give them any room because you don't want these things to neutralize, to negate faith in God. Let's pray. Father, help us to guard our hearts against worry, fear, and doubt. Keep these things away. And to keep our heart and mind occupied by your words so that we can be people of faith. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.